uh, evangelist Terry Dion Wooten Graham. And we have um, a launching of one of my sister girls. You all are familiar with my women's friendship group. Well, we have a 250 plus base of women that we reach out to. And one of our sister girls, the one who does such a fabulous job on keeping our Facebook page, Women's Friendship Group and Network, up and running, is our minister, Dania uh, Nicole Anderson. And she is launching Teen Scene as we speak. Some of y'all might have seen her live earlier. So she's launching Teen Scene. So she will have a segment on the Terry Graham radio show um, on second and fourth Thursday. So continue to tune in. Good evening and welcome to Teen Scene. This is Dania Anderson and I am happy to be launching the very first Teen Scene workshop this evening. We are so excited I've been working on this. I am the mother of a teen daughter, so I have lots of material to work with. <laughs> and my, my lovely daughter is in the audience today, so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. I want to, tonight I'm going to be addressing cyberbullying and, well, bullying and cyberbullying because cyberbullying is, a, it, it's an element of bullying. So we're going to talk about, we're going to address the seven different types of online bullying. We're going to give a definition of bullying. I'm going to mix in scripture and then I'm going to explain about the about bystanders. A lot of times we hear about the student that is bullied, we hear about the bully, but we don't hear about the bystander and how they play such a huge role in the continuation or even the prevention of bullying. So we're going to get started with the scripture from 1 Corinthians 13 and I'm going to read that because I believe that if we learn to practice love then, and we learn to practice love in the truest form of love, then we won't be, we won't be dealing with topics like bullying. Mm. So here is uh, 1 Corinthians 13, and I'm going to begin with verse 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects. Let me read that again. It always protects. Mm. Always trusts. Always hopes. Always perseveres. So there you have it right there. All of the things that bullying does do. It's saying that love is not. Mm. Wow. So now let's talk about let's let's talk about the the working definition of bullying. Bullying is unwanted, aggressive, repetitive behavior that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. Mm. It may be defined as the activity of repeated aggressive behavior intended to hurt another person physically, mentally, physically or mentally, and I actually have a list of, of several other, there's verbally, there's sexually, mm -hmm. there's also um, based on gender biases and racial biases. So this definition kind of left some of that out. but. Um, when a person intentionally inflicts injury or discomfort upon another person through physical contact, through words, or in other ways. Other ways would also include those that I just covered, as well as online. Mm. You know, through social media, through text messaging, through email. Bullying is characterized by an individual behaving in a certain way to gain power over another. 
So that takes us back to what I was reading in 1 Corinthians 13, where we're saying that love is not, not self-seeking. When you're a bully, you are self-seeking. You're seeking power over, to, to gain power over someone else. And you'll do it by any means necessary. You'll harm that person physically. You'll break them down emotionally. You'll attack them verbally. You know, and this is something that is going on in our schools. It's not just going on in our schools. As Terry touched on earlier when she was doing the introduction, you know, she was talking about it, it it's it's in so many different things. It's right. in the home, it's in the workplace, it's yeah. at school, yeah. it's online, it's in yes. social media, it's on T V. Yes. Um there's it's domestic violence. It's it's so many different things. So we really we really need to become aware and we really have to get educated. Um, really quickly, um, let me just touch on some of the seven different types of online bullying. Yes, please. And we see a lot of this on Twitter since we got a new mm. president. Yes. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that because I don't want him coming from me. <laughs> But wow, well said. Seven types of online bullying include exclusion, where you're ex deliberately excluding someone from an online group or a social media group. Mm. There's gossip, where you're posting and sending inappropriate things to defame someone's character mm -hmm. or you know damage their reputation or their relationships with their family, friends, significant others. Uh, there's the bullying where you, it's called nation, where you are breaking into using someone else's email, I mean, not, I'm sorry, their password, and posting as them. You're going oh. and breaking into someone else's social media account or their email, and you're posting as them. Wow. And, you know, this is happening more than we think it is. My teenager experienced something of this nature. Just last year, when someone was posting under her name, posting th posting nasty messages to me <laughs> under yeah. her email, um, under her social media account, <laughs> she was being framed. But there's also harassment. There's cyber stalking. There's outing and trickery. There's that which outing and trickery is tricking someone into revealing secrets that's embarrassing, and then going back and sharing it online. Mm. Um, cyber threats, of course, are, that's making threatening, harassing remarks to somebody via text message, um, mm. online, on social media posts, things of that nature. And then harassment, which is re repeatedly posting or sending offensive, rude, and insulting messages to a person. So, you know, there, there's a lot going on out here. Yeah. And this, though, this falls right in line with with uh, tonight's topic because if you're raising your child in, in, the, in the right, you know, to do the right things and to, to not grow up and be a juvenile delinquent, right. like people on, that are getting paid on reality show, reality shows, oh, wow. yeah. you know, a lot of kids emulate that stuff. Mm -hmm. And they, our kids are being taught that being bullied, you know, being a bully, is what's going to get you paid because that's what reality TV shows teach them now. So we just really have to be mindful and you know we have to guard our gates. You have to be able to guard your eye gates, your ear gates, yes. your mouth gates. What goes in, what your child consumes through their ears and their eyes is coming out of their mouth. Right. It's coming through their actions because right. it goes into their mind. I pray that this segment has been enlightening for you, and I thank you for your time. And Miss D is signing off for the Teen Scene 10 on the Terry Graham Radio Show.